Hey guys, this is uh, Scott Brown. Um, today I'm going to also be uh, mating up some birds, probably blues and tries and also ash red family. And uh, I just wanted to show you what I do. I like to put all my cocks and all my hens up, go through them, pick out the ones that I definitely have to breed, need to breed, the better ones. Uh, and then uh, I start mixing them up, looking at them, and this way I can look at, at a lot of different matings and what I like about them and how they match up. Now, I have outside pins, and I'll show you those. I like to put my, uh, my uh, birds in these cages outside. And the reason I like to put them outside is because, um, you know, they're a little scared. It's not a natural thing for them. You know, you got the big open space, and you can really see... Uh, the birds in every kind of can you know that some of them are, are, are used to the cages some of them aren't and some of them uh, You know it takes a little while to get used to them, but this is what I like to start the birds out in and uh, I will put all my like I said all the cocks all the hens up here and then we'll uh, Kind of look at a few of those um, I'm not going to show you every pair or go through every pair But this is what I like to do when I do my pairs It gives me an opportunity to spread them all out look at them and then match them up how I think they should go and uh, we'll get started on that in just a minute okay get started on uh, I got the cock birds out here and I wanted to show you uh, just show you the cock birds and what I do I've got uh, I probably I don't know that I'm gonna breed this many blue and tri pairs but we'll see how it works out uh, when I'm doing this outside like I showed you the cages what I like to have is, is I like to have, uh, of course, my judging stick. I like to have a bottle of alcohol spray, and there's the alcohol. Just regular old 70% isopropyl alcohol, just to spray on the feet. What this does is, you know, sometimes you have birds that just don't, uh, you know, they don't stand as nicely as uh, you want them to. Uh, and they're good pigeons, they just don't stand or station like you want them to. So anyway, uh, this gives the birds uh, just a little pop and helps them stand up better stand up and, better. and uh, I can see what they'd look like if they had super hard legs and showed and stationed perfectly um, And you know, that's what I like to do. So I'll go through the cock birds now I'll get some hens up here and I'll go through them and get this uh, Straightened out and go from there. All right guys. We'll we'll continue on with some hens and then some matings in a little bit. All right, guys, I got the uh, got the hens up, and I uh, just thought I'd run through a little quick video on those. They're not necessarily in the order of best to worst, but I've got uh, you know probably about ten or twelve hens up here, and I'll uh, just run through, show you those, and then I'll start putting some together, and I'll show you some of the ideas I got about what uh, you know what we're gonna uh, make together and why. All right, guys. Alrighty, a blue hen, a bronze try, blue gazy, bronze try. Last hen there, don't care for her that much, but she's got a nice wing shield with a lot of bronze in it, and she's huge, big, huge, deep body. Don't like her legs, don't like her head, don't like her beak, but I'm gonna use that wing shield and that big, deep body on something, because I got plenty of good cocks. All right, let's uh, we'll we'll start working on some mating. Uh, I got a couple pairs set up here in front that I want to uh, show you, and uh, they're just a couple um, out of the ten or twelve pairs that I'll probably made up. But uh, you know, just give you an idea of what we're talking about as far as what I made up or what I'm looking at when I made. Uh, what I'm looking for is balance and. Uh, you know, improvement on if one or one of the others got something going on. But this, uh, I got one hen, she's ready to go here. So I don't know if she's going to show when I get ready to do it or not. But anyway, I got a bronze trigazzy cockbird here. Maybe one of my best balanced little cockbirds. Very nice. Good mark. Uh, he's not as good marked as I'd like him to be. Um, as you can see. But very nice pigeon. Beautiful head. Good round decent uh, bird bully nice neck and head and then the little blue gazzy hen that was best gazzy at uh, uh, the second district she doesn't want to show but heck of a mating I think uh, very they'll do very well together um, then the next pair big old blue cock a couple years ago I didn't even bred him yet but uh, it really the only thing he really likes is a bully neck 
And then this blue hen here, she's got, uh, she's very short and good bully neck. And uh, although I don't like the bars on either one of them, I'm gonna make them up because they just go together structurally very well. She's a heck of a hen. But anyway, that's a couple of pairs on why I made them up. Um, I got a lot more to go here and a lot more to do. Here's our blue sketty young cock. And, uh, you know, he's not quite around on the bottom as I can be. He doesn't have great bars. Uh, but he's a heck of a nice pigeon, big old head. And uh, good thick feet and feathers. And then this hen here, she had a little better color in the wing shield. And uh, real smooth and slick. Not as big a head. But I think that pair will go nicely together. And uh, that's three pairs. Just wanted to show you what, what I do when I made up and uh, give you an idea of what we're talking about when we made up some pairs. And I think those made up very well. All right, man. That's it for this Modena moment, guys. And uh, we'll talk at you later.